Welcome to MTB Radley. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to remove disc brake pads and rotors. I'm removing them to clean them, but I'll show you how to do that in another video. For more mountain bike tips, reviews, and trail rides, subscribe to my channel, tap the bell to be notified when I upload a new video every Thursday. Mountain bikes are rad. You should get one. As an outdoor professional, I've helped thousands of people recreate outside, and mountain biking was just one of those activities. Now, it's time for me to help you. Okay, the first thing we want to do is remove the wheels from the bike. I've got quick release through axles up front. That will allow me to redo that pretty easy. And I've got a through axle in the back that allows me to do the same thing. I guess these are some of the tools and supplies that I use. A small needle nose to help me remove the locking pin uh, off of the uh, disc brake calipers so that I can remove the machine screw and I, I've got uh, an Allen key, 2.5 millimeter Allen key that helps me get uh, remove that. And then I've got a T25 um, Torx wrench if you will and that is what I use to remove the disc brake rotor from the wheel. Okay, I've got the wheels up here. My tools are ready to go. And we'll start with the rear wheel. Grab my Torx. Got a little magnetic dish here that I'm dropping these mach machine screws into. You want to make sure you don't lose these. Also got this uh, nice rubber park tool mat that uh, has lots of three-dimensional features and little pockets that I can put stuff in and keep it from rolling off onto the floor where I'll lose it. Now I'm not wearing my gloves yet because I'm gonna clean them. But I'll put my gloves on here shortly. Got the front wheel, I'm gonna remove the rotor off that one. Make sure you keep straight which um, rotors go on which wheels, so you put the correct rotor back on the correct wheel. And I also like to keep my screws separate, although you probably don't need to because they're gonna be the same. And so I'll put the second set of screws on my uh, Nifty Park Tool mat. Okay. Those are removed. Next thing I want to do is remove the brake pads off the calipers. Okay, I'm down here next to the calipers on the front fork. And the first thing I need to do is remove this little locking washer right here. And just grab a pair of needle nose pliers and pull that thing right off. I've got my <clears throat> magnetic bowl here that I'm putting stuff into. Next thing I'm gonna do is come in here and use my 2.5 Allen key to remove that little machine nut right there. And it 
should cut there we go should come right out i'm gonna put that in my little magnetic parts bin and then this guy if i get my fingers in there it just there we go it just comes straight out the back just like that i've got my pads while i'm here i'll go ahead and inspect my pads okay now we're on the rear brake calipers again i'm gonna Use our needle nose pliers to remove that locking ring. Put it in the magnetic parts bin there. And then grab our Allen key and just spin it on out. There we go. Then we're gonna come in here and grab these brake pads and Pull them. Well, assuming they come out together, just pull them straight out. There we go. In a previous video, we went over the gear all new mountain bikers should have. Click the eye to access that video and look in the description below to download that free checklist. I removed my pads and rotors to clean them, which is what I'm doing here. To learn how to clean your pads and rotors, click the eye in the upper right hand corner. Now, I'll show you how to put everything back together again. Okay, back up here in the front, and I'm going to slide the pads right in there, just like so. Wiggle them in so they set, there you go. And then we are going to take our machine screw and our two and a half millimeter Allen key. And we're just going to thread that back through there. Okay, move the bike over here because I could not see what I was doing down there with the light. I was putting the screw in on the wrong side. So it's going in much easier over here. Look at that. Should just glide right in there. So if, if you're having trouble, if you're ever having trouble putting a, a screw in or a small bolt or something on a bicycle, never force it. That'd be a quick way to screw things up. Since I'm up here, I'll just finish the front brake. Awesome, it's on there. Okay, now we're back on the rear brakes. Squeeze our pads together, slide them on in. There you go, you're looking to for these holes to line up here for the screw to go through. There we go. Unfortunately, I'm too close, so I gotta move the camera so I can thread this guy back in. Again, should thread in nice and easy. You don't need Loctite on this because you've got a locking washer. Quick visual check, it's on there. Nice. Now that we've got everything clean, we can put the rotor back on. Make sure you put the correct rotor on the correct wheel in the correct orientation. The screw should thread in nice and easy. If they don't, back it out, start it over. I'm not using blue Loctite on here, although you could. I just don't want the hassle of trying to break the Loctite to remove the uh, rotors later. And when I put the rotor on, I don't tighten each screw down as hard as I can. 
actually just get it up to where it's almost snug because I want everything seated before I tighten it down. Okay, so this rotor has a bolt torque of 55 inch pounds or 6.2 Newton meters. Okay, I've got the torque wrench. Because my hand did touch the uh, disc brake rotor, I'm just gonna give it a quick wipe down. Wipe off the fingers again. Line it up, make sure you've got the right rotor on the right wheel. And then let's go ahead and tighten it down. My torque wrench measures inch pounds, so I put 55 inch pounds in there. And one more time for good measure. Now we're putting the wheels back on. We'll do a couple of double checks and then we'll go for a test drive. If you have any questions about removing or installing your disc brake pads and rotors, leave them in the comments below. If you learned something today, hit that like button and subscribe and tap that bell to be notified when I post a new video every Thursday. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you on the trail. If you're new to mountain biking, you wanna get your hands on my free checklist that covers the gear you need for a trail ride. This checklist will fast track you to feeling confident for your first ride. Look for the link to this free checklist in the description below. If you learned something, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Tap the bell to get notifications for my next video. Until next week, I'll see you on the trail.